how you doing guys uh, of course uh, exciting news with Apple coming out with Mojave uh, officially of course it's uh, been for developers in the public beta of course for quite a while uh, a couple of notes there's some good news and bad news uh, for some older uh, iMacs and uh, Mac Pros uh, maybe we'll cover the good news first uh, good news is uh, the uh, 2010 and 2012 Mac Pros will support Mojave with a metal, uh, metal capable graphics card, which Apple already has a listing down there uh, of what's supported. Uh, one of which, of course, mine supported, well, uh, unsupported on the 2009 Mac Pro, but uh, using the firmware update, uh, it's running it fine. Uh, you can check out some of my older uh, Mojave uh, installation videos and, and my overview. I've already covered that already. Um, so it will support uh, 2010, 2012 Mac Pros. The bad news is on some of the older iMacs, um, doesn't, uh, to be able to even install Mojave, uh, Mac OS 10 point, I believe it's 14, is uh, you can't have uh, Boot Camp installed. And uh, so you're gonna have to uninstall it using the uh, Boot Camp Assistant to uh, remove it. And I suspected uh, more than likely it's because of a Fusion Drive, which I checked, and it is. And that also applies, I believe, to the 2013 iMac uh, as well. Of course, Fusion Drives are really kind of a hybrid. And in fact, physically, they're not located in one drive housing. They're uh, located separately on the motherboard. One's an SSD drive. The other one's a mechanical hard drive. The idea is... Uh, to be able to give uh, faster speeds yet with more storage uh, for a good price. I think that was kind of transitioning when SSD drives were still very expensive. And, and it, really a Fusion Drive is kind of, I could see why maybe it's not supported because it's a very specialized drive where your most used applications are going to be uh, put on your SSD drive. And uh, your high capacity storage is going to be obviously the slower mechanical drive. So I could see where their problems might ensue using the bootcamp partition. Uh, uh, of course, in the uh, updated uh, Mac OS, I was hoping you uh, one would be able to uninstall it, and then once Mojave was installed, then re-enable bootcamp. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to work. Uh, I guess that's just a matter of progress, unfortunately. Of course, many Mac, older Mac Pros are very useful. I keep all my old equipment and keep it in top shape and use it for many years to come, uh, especially my 2009 Mac Pro. Of course, I got lucky with the uh, firmware install, and I, I'm actually still running uh, Mac OS Mojave, uh, the public beta, and I got to update it to the uh, final version. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys later and thanks uh, thanks for all the uh, new subscribers and uh, your patronage really appreciate that and you guys are awesome as always uh, thanks for watching see you guys later thanks